In this video, I'll be showing you how to use DSP Trigger to do drum replacement. While this plugin is designed to be a VST drum brain, it's equally well suited for churning your multi-track drums into MIDI. Here we are set up in Cubase. Let's have a listen to the original tracks to hear what we're going to be working with. There are actually eight tracks for these drums, but we're just going to be working with the kick, snare, and hi-hat. Let's start with the kick. The first thing we need to do is add an instance of DSP trigger. For drum replacement, we should be using the microphone pad type. By default, the generic pad type is selected, so you'll need to go into this drop-down box and select microphone. If you plan to use DSP trigger exclusively for drum replacement, then go ahead and click the Save As Default button. That way, whenever you open a new instance of the plugin, microphone mode is already selected. Next, we need to route the MIDI from DSP Trigger to our drum sampler. So let's go ahead and add a MIDI track to the project. We'll set the input of the track to DSP Trigger and the output to our drum sampler. All right, now we're ready to go. This is supposed to be a kick drum, so let's click on the kick drum image so we're triggering the right kit piece. All right, let's drop the threshold down a bit. Now, DSP Trigger is in Calibrate mode. This automatically adjusts the scan time and the gain scaler. If you look at the white dots, you can see they aren't quite lining up yet. That's because the scan time is not long enough to catch the maximum velocity of the transients. As the scan time is calibrated, you'll see the white dots lining up properly. You can override the calibration of individual controls by dragging on them with your mouse. I feel the kick is just a bit too hot, so let's drag down the gain scaler just a bit. That's all looking and sounding good, so we'll turn off the calibrate mode so that our settings are locked in. Now let's work with the snare. We'll go ahead and add another instance of DSP trigger. This time we won't use the calibrate mode. Instead, we'll set the scan time manually by dragging it up to 10 milliseconds to match the kick. Also, we want to trigger the side stick articulation, so we'll drag the MIDI note down to C sharp 3, which corresponds to the side stick in BFD2. All right, let's get the track rolling. The bits of red represent the crosstalk information coming from the kick. To work properly, the red area should be just slightly higher than the kick's bleed. It looks like we need to turn it up just a little bit. And I'm also going to turn down the gain a little bit too. And now some hits are already starting to come through. Let's pull down the threshold. As you can see in here, the crosstalk cancellation is effectively preventing the kick's bleed from triggering snare hits. Sounds like we're still missing a few hits, so let's pull down the threshold a little bit more to catch them all. Now we're going to have a new problem. Let's play back from the beginning. Now the hi-hat bleed in the snare track is causing mistriggers. Let's solo the original snare track and have a listen. As you can hear, there was poor isolation and the snare track is littered with bleed from both the kick and the hi-hat but even this amount of bleed is easy to take care of with DSP Trigger. All we need to do is let the plugin know what the hi-hat is doing. Because we don't want to replace the hi-hat, we'll work with the copy instead. And just like for the snare and the kick, we'll insert an instance of DSP Trigger. Now, we don't want this instance to produce any sound, so we'll turn off the hit articulation. And we don't need to calibrate anything either, so we'll turn that off too. Now when we play the tracks, you can see that the crosstalk information from the hi-hat is also showing up and the bleed is no longer triggering the snare. Oops, missed one. We'll increase the gain a little bit. Done. Now we've perfectly isolated the side stick articulations from a sea of bleed from the hi-hat and the kick. <laughs> 